Greetings to all human, alien, and Pokemon life forms. It is I, Purple Quaza here, back with another episode of Pokemon Ash Gray. In the last episode, we went northward and did two episodes worth of stuff. And in this episode, we're going to continue on forward with uh, this, I guess. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's pretty much what we did last episode. In this episode, we're going to go on forward. Uh, maybe eastward or northward or whatever word. Uh, wonder what this place is all about. Um, hi there, stranger. My name is Cute Caitlin. Ooh, Cute Caitlin. Sounds like a. Woo -woo. I spent years understanding the innate cuteness of Pokemon. Oh, wonder how you study cuteness. If you're like me, you want your Pokemon to be as cute as possible, I can help cutify your Pokemon for just the small price of one star piece. Does that sound good? Cutify? I do not remember this in the anime. Um... Okay, so which Pokemon should I cutesy wootsy? I guess Pikachu can't be any cuter. Cuteness was increased. Doesn't that look adorable? Come back with another star piece anytime and I'll be able to- Wait, I could've sold that. Oh, well. Uh, do we... What? Huh. That was interesting. Maybe you can't sell it in Pokemarts in this game. Woo, but anyways, how was your guys' day? My day was pretty eventful. <laughs> um. Uh, I actually went to, uh grab some uh some of my ap books because we have to get them over the summer for uh summer assignments and hey dig um we have to get them for summer assignments and uh yeah basically that's what i did today i just went up to my school walked there yeah i walked the school Ooh. um I walked to school, got my five books, which is a lot, if you guys don't know what, how much books weigh, you know, especially after a ten minute walk. God, that was heck. Um, but yeah, if y'all don't know, like I'm not smart or anything like that, I'm just know what to do with my life. Ooh, a meow, that's pretty cool. Pikachu versus meow. So I wonder if you're gonna win. It's kind of ironic, a mouse beating up a cat. <laughs> but I think that was the intent. Uh, oh, wait, I think I know what this is. Uh, you know what? <laughs> if this is what I think this is... Uh, let's not go through it yet. Uh, let me just speed up through here. Oddishes. Yeah, there's a lot of oddishes. So I think I know what this is. Let me just really quickly. Uh, that's a bit glitchy. <laughs> um, let's see if we can give back this TM to the dude because we found Dig. And see if anything special is gonna happen. Those miserable fees. Looks like they in my store. What a. All right. I guess he's. He just doesn't want his TM back. Well, I guess since we're here, we can heal up our Pokemon. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, and another thing. Uh, I've only gotten one question so far, which is very, very, I would say, disappointing. But uh, we'll answer that later. I just really want you guys to click that Pokeball and participate more for my channel. Because this isn't just my channel, by the way. I mean, it's, it's all of our channels. No, I kind of stole that from Mr. Cumbrian, but it's true. You guys, you guys own this yourselves. Uh, is this what I think this is? Uh, let's not go through here. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, let's go through here first. Uh, if I remember correctly, I know what this is. Yeah, if we go through here. The Hidden Village, yes! I love this episode. This is one of my favorite episodes. And I think we're going in chronological order, which is even better. Adi adi. Wait, I have to battle it? Oh, Bulba Bulba. Bulbasaur. 
Alright, I guess you took it away. <laughs> that was kind of cool how I implemented the Hoenn region uh, thing. I guess we can go upward. Can we swim? It's too rough to swim. Aww. Oh, there's a bridge right there. <laughs> That's kind of dumb. Um... Oh! What in the heck? There is nothing there. There's nothing there. There's nothing there. There's nothing here. What the heck? Am I trapped? Uh... I guess I'm trapped. This is weird. Is there a way of getting out of here? I guess I'll cut till I find a way of getting out of here. See you guys in a bit. Woo! Time traveling Ash! Look at us, we actually came back to the time before we fell in one of these weird hedges. And we're just gonna go around it! Ooh! Magic! Oh, whoops. We did not see that. Um... <laughs> what do we got here? A Caterpie! Ooh, pretty, pretty. And this time it's level 10. Not like the one we caught. This is actually kind of cool, though. I like how the hedge is just like... I know it's a bit cheap and all that, but... Oh, wait. Uh, am I trapped? I think I'm trapped. Uh, whoops. Was I supposed to do something? Ah, <sighs> time travel again! Ooh, time traveling again! Ooh, Ash has mystical powers, or in this case, purple has mystical powers. Now let's go around here and, oh, Willie, look at this. We got some Raditas, an Oddish, and a Bulbasaur. This is pretty cool. Oh, hello. My name's Melanie. I moved to this place so I could create a sanctuary for Pokemon that have been hurt or abandoned by their trainers. This is place is more like a spa than a hospital. Those holes? Oh, I'm sorry. I was, I was the one who set those traps. I wanted to catch those Pokemon trainers before they reached the village. Oh, no worries. At least we have time-traveling magical powers, and we're able to, uh, get out of those holes. Ooh. There are so many injured Pokemon here that I have to protect them. That's why I put that sign asking not to catch any Pokemon here. Please respect that. Hmm? This Pokemon? This is Bulbasaur. It volunteered to guard the whole village. It protects all the injured Pokemon whenever enemies try to attack them. Bulbasaur is the bravest and most loyal Pokemon I know. Purple, don't you agree that Bulbasaur would be an excellent addition to your team? I think Bulbasaur should go with you. Bulbasaur stayed here to protect the weaker Pokemon, but this village is too small. The bulb on its back can't grow. It needs to get out into the wild, into the world now, and I know you'll take good care of it. Please do me this favor. Take Bulbasaur with you and you're on your journey. It will join you on one condition. One, one condition. <laughs> you have to battle it first. Uh, I guess we battle it. <laughs> Let's be cheap and put out our... <laughs> Let's be cheap and put out our... Uh... Nah, you know what. It's too cheap to be... To go with uh, Pidgeot or Butterfree. Let's be fair and go out with Pikachu. Oh, the Barba! Bulbasaur, Bulbasaur! Bulbasaur! I love Bulbasaur. It's such a cute Pokemon. I think someone out there will agree. Wait, we can actually catch it? Um, I think we can catch it. I think this is where we actually catch it. Uh, if it isn't, then the thing will just say that I can't catch it, but I'm pretty sure this is where we catch it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is. Uh, I really wish I could have taken that off. I guess we just catch it? 
Um, guess we keep on using Puff Balls. Bulbasaurus caught! Nice! Uh, we're not going to give it a nickname because Ash did not give a nickname to his Bulbasaur. Thank you for taking care of Bulbasaur. That's cool, I love this. This is pretty cool, I like it. I also like those traps too. Uh, I could have sworn there's something back over there. It, uh, the thing, and I really don't want to hop this fence. Oh, look at this. I, this is nice. Oh, no, it's just fake. I'm pretty sure there's something back there that I really wanted to check, and I just want to make sure if that is what I think it is. So, I'm going to really quickly uh, go over to that place. See in a bit. Y yeah, this is the place where I was talking about. Like, there's another place to go down. If you go down there, it's impossible to go down there, so... Oh, sorry, the path is temporarily closed. Oh, so I guess we actually have to go through there. Alright. Uh, I guess I'm gonna have to cut again. Ooh, time traveling and space traveling mystical powers activate! Ooh, and we're back with battling this Caterpie that's totally part of the space-time traveling wobbly bobbly stuff. <laughs> uh, but anyways, it looks like we have something here. Max Elixir. Dang, we usually don't get those in the end of the game, but they just... Metapod just decided it will be best to do a sprout. That it would be best to do it here. Actually, let's see our newly caught... Bulbasaur! Oh, and of course it's paralyzed. What does it have? Oh, it's an Everstone. That's pretty cool. I like that. I like how they implemented that because in the anime, if you guys don't know... Do I have a paralyzed heal? Shoot, I don't think we have one. Uh, but anyways, uh, if you guys don't know in the anime, Bulbasaur is actually given... Uh, he's not given an Everstone. He's just... Uh, yeah, that. Uh, but it looks like I didn't heal up my Pokemon, so unfortunately, I don't want to bring him out because I don't want him to uh, faint. Oh, and of course they're big jerks and they put a tree there. Oh! What's this stump? Uh, alright. <laughs> Looks like we have a stump. Oh! Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Are you kidding me? Is this what I think it is? It's a Charmander, but it refuses to battle. Maybe I was trying to- Oh, that's so cool! Oh my god, episode after episode! This is so amazing! Oh my god! Oh, I'm tearing up right now. Oof. Oh man, this game is awesome! Let's heal up our Pokémon, but I love how they conveniently have a Poke- Poke Center in the middle of nowhere. Oh, but that's so awesome! We actually get to battle him? <laughs> what do we have here? Over there is Damien. He's a really great trainer. He's got all sorts of Pokemon and really strong. Are you a trainer? I had a Charmander, but it was so weak it couldn't even beat the weakest opponents. So I left it on a rock, so it wouldn't... Because it's... Bleh. So it stopped following me. I lied and said I'd be back for it. It's so stupid that it's probably still waiting there for me. You jerk. You are such a jerk. Who would leave their Pokemon, especially one of the strongest Pokemon ever? Oh, and it's raining. I remember I cried on this episode. Charmander! Charmander! Charmander looks really weak from the storm. Would you like to take it? Yes. We received it. Uh, we actually give <laughs> We can give it a nickname? No. I wonder what the stump is here for, though. Huh, that's really odd. Let's go back to, uh... Let's go back to the dude and give it back to him. Oh, he's not here? I wonder what he has to say. Boy, that storm just whipped up all of a sudden. What a downpour. Alright. Where the heck is he? Charmander is really weak. Better take it to the Pokemon Center to heal it. Oh, alright. I, okay, I remember now what was happening. Is it really weak? Oh, jeez, 1 HP. Thank god, we came here already. 
Uh, it's very weak. How could you let it? How could you let it get in this condition? I'd better heal it right away. Oh, that's kind of cool. At least it isn't like a regular Nurse Joy. And if you guys don't know about my fan problem, I got another fan problem. <laughs> Hope to see you again. Hey, it's not raining anymore. Oh, but he's coming back. I came back for Charmander just like I promised. Oh, whoops. So let's go. Charmander is mine. I'm the one who caught it, remember? It's a good thing I abandoned it, too. That toughened it up. Besides, what's wrong with dumping off a weak Pokemon? I wasn't going to come back for it, but now that I've seen what it can do, I'm really glad I ran into it. And to you. The best thing is, I didn't have to raise it myself. Myself. <laughs> huh? You won't give it back? Then I suppose I'll just have to take it back. Oh, sweet. We actually get to battle him. This is actually kind of cool. Uh, Machop? I actually don't remember this battle that well. Uh, I guess we can save uh, Charmander for something that's more fitted for it. A drowsy. Uh, nah, we'll keep it. We'll keep Pikachu in. I'll just speed things up and ah, ah, you got paralyzed. Oh, Rhyhorn. Oh, this would be a great opportunity for Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur! Bulba Bulbasaur! <laughs> uh, ooh, let's switch up these moves. Uh, let's put a uh, Vine Whip up here, we'll put this up here, and we'll put Tackle right there. There we go, that's perfect. Let's see that. Oh, it doesn't even kill. Oh well, Bulbasaur is only level 10 after all. Oh, please do not get 5 hits. Oh, you got a crit. Oh, thank god. Whew! <sighs> that was a bit of a, a wreck. <laughs> Let's see how much we get. Uh, level 11! Nice! Uh, level 12! Even better! Anything else? Nah, just up to level 12. No, you're kidding! Ow, ow, mommy! Fine, kept that, keep that weak Charmander. I don't want it. Of course you want it. Charmander is so awesome. How can you not want a Charmander? Who cares if it's weak? It's awesome. And I bet you it's not even weak. It was probably just stupid Damien. Oh, but that's so cool. We got two new Pokemon today. That was awesome. Actually, let me see how how much the recording has been going on for. Eh, it's only been 20 minutes. Oh. Eh, it's only been 20 minutes. I think we can go for a little bit longer. Uh, let's see what we can run into now. I, I suppose. I guess we can go right here. Oh, shoot. What? Oh, no. You gotta be kidding me. This episode? <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Squirtle, squirt. Squirt, squirtle. No, uh, Squirtle's my worst voice because I get itchy, itchy throat. The Squirtle appears to be the gang leader. It's staring intensely into your eyes, wanting to battle. Hold it right there! Are you alright? Have you been hurt here? That Pokemon gang is, calls itself the Squirtle Squad. Hey, I do this be the episode. <laughs> They're all Squirtles who were deserted by their Pokemon trainers. They don't have a trainer, so they run wild. They were just run wild and play tricks on the whole town. It's really kind of sad, because if they had somebody to take care about them, they wouldn't have turned out to be as bad as they were are. Please keep an eye out, and be careful if you see them again. Let me know. Are we stuck here? Oh, we're stuck here! That sucks. Uh, is anything gonna happen? Oh, there's a house here. I'm the fishing girl. Hey, wait, there's a fishing girl. That's kind of cool. We get an old rod. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. Uh, finished poetry. This is implemented in Pokemon Fire Red, so I don't know if that's supposed to happen or not. Do we battle her? I came to this pond to fish, but I need a break. How about you? Oh, she heals us. That's kind of cool. That means there's something, uh, really fishy up ahead. <laughs> wonder what this says. 
freshwater pond, open to all fishing, no swimming allowed. I can swim in here if I want. Oh no, never mind, I can't. <laughs> uh, I guess we go through here. Are we supposed to go through here? No, nah, we're not. <laughs> uh, I really don't know if we're supposed to go. Oh, we can go back. Sweetness. Hang on a sec. I'm sorry, but the Squirtle Squad is still on the loose. Oh, alright, so we can just keep on going over here. And again, the fan sound is coming. Oh well, I guess we're supposed to fish here. A bite! The Squirtle looks like it wants to battle. Better use Pikachu! Go, Pikachu! I said go, Pikachu! Oh no! Pikachu is badly hurt by Squirtle. What the heck? Was it really hurt by Squirtle? <gasps> no! Oh my god, he actually took it away! Select the fishing rod from your items to fish up Pokemon. No! Oh shoot, our Pikachu actually got taken away. That sucks. Not even a nibble. I'm guessing it's gonna say not even a- oh, oh, what's this? Squirt Squirtle! The Squirtle won't let you pass. Oh, bullcrap. Looks like we actually have to go through here without our Pikachu. I actually feel kind of, uh, unsafe going through here. Uh, am I supposed to go through here? Oh, Zubats. At least they're only Zubats. If we had our Pikachu, it'd be even better. Boo! Uh, am I supposed to be scared? Camper Jeff. Oh, Butterfree, that's a perfect matchup. Uh, Sonara Pidgeotto. Really don't want to uh, have, like, the chance of, you know, hurting my uh, Charmander or anything like that. Oh, Hyper Fang, that actually kind of hurts. Uh, am I supposed to go through here? I don't know, like, this is my first time playing Ash Gray. I don't know if I'm supposed to go through here or not. <sighs> this is actually kind of, uh, weird. Hey, look at that. Boom. Boom! My Butterfree's better than yours. And yet another Zubat. This is kind of boring. Let's spice things up with a question by Flair Let's Plays. Uh, I have a question. I don't know if you've answered it before or not, but how did you get an LP? Well, it's kind of a weird story. Like, I've always wanted an LP ever since I've seen, like, people like, uh, Chugga Conroy and, uh, Proton John and all those famous, uh, Poketubers. Not exactly Poketubers, just gamers in general. But the thing that actually got me into LP is actually my friend Mystic Umbreon94. And it's thanks to him for starting his channel that influenced me for getting uh, to my channel. And that was pretty quick. Uh, I guess there's a Pokemon. What do you gotta say? Beat it, punk! I'm scary. Uh, what? You just need a super potion for your herb Pokemon? Sorry, I just got held up by the Team Rocket and lost all my merchandise, so I'm a bit jumpy. I didn't manage to save one super potion. I can see it's an emergency, so it's on the house. Sweetness! Free super potion. Uh, I guess we're gonna use it. But anyways, back to the question, how did I get to Alpine? Uh, pretty much... Oh, some key items. This isn't that time to use it. Oh, you needed to heal Pikachu, alright. Uh, oh, we got two rare candies, which is nice. Uh, basically, that's the reason how I actually got an LP. Like, Mystic Umbreon 94 started up his channel, and I really wanted to start up mine as well, because, uh, you know, we're kind of, uh, uh, we're kind of good friends, and I actually, he got me really influenced in that, so. 
thank Mystic Umbreon for that. Oh, we have to go back? That sucks. But yeah, anyways, uh, that's pretty much uh, the answer to that question. Is there anything else here? We can't even run? Yeah, we can't even run. That's crap. Uh, but yeah, like, a answer some more questions, like, give me some more questions, I really like you guys, like, answering, or asking me questions, so go click that Pokeball, and I'll be sure to answer all of your guys' questions. Oh, here's Pikachu. Pikachu! It seems really weak. Wanna give it a super question? Yes! Nah, its wounds were healed. The Squirtle Squad leader seems impressed with the compassion you had for your Pokemon. It seems you want to join your journey. Hey! We got a Squirtle! That's awesome! You wanted to give it a nickname? No. Do we really have Squirtle? Hey! We actually have a Squirtle! That's kind of cool! So we have the entire team together. That's awesome! Let's see if we can get out of this hellhole. Guess we can run back. And a fish in the spawn pile. Oh, I forgot we can heal up here. So dumb. Oh well. We'll just go forward. Are we gonna have to run into them? Oh no! We can just go right through. Sweet! Uh, but yeah, I think this is a great place to end off. Like, <laughs> pretty much what we did was we got the rest of our three members for our team. So yeah, I think it was a pretty eventful episode. Uh, we filled up our Pokemon party with three new Pokemon, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> we went through three episodes worth today, so it was very, very uh, surprise or very surprising. And I guess in the next episode we're gonna continue on forward uh, down south because that's the only place we can go. Uh, but yeah. Uh, and another thing, I'd really like for you guys to ask more questions in my Q&A videos, so go click that Pokeball down below uh, in the layouts, and I'll be sure to answer you guys' questions. So, I'll see you guys then, and forgive me for the stupid fan noise. Oh my god, I just noticed it. Stupid fan noise. I'm gonna try and fix that, I swear to god, because I don't know what's causing it, like... <laughs> I'm just using it like how I normally use it, and the fan goes dang off because I'm overusing something. So I'm gonna try and fix that just for you guys' pleasure. So, I guess I'll see you guys in the next episode. See you guys then. Peace!